degree of freedom. So what does it mean by degree of freedom? Uh, so uh, guys, we have used this degree of freedom concept in earlier chapter as well. So here in this chapter, we are about to discuss this in great detail. So our uh, degrees of freedom, like as it is defined by its name itself, freedom means we are talking about the motion and degree means that up to, in, uh, you know, like in what ways, in what ways we are talking about that motion of these gas molecules. So in, in general, if I talk about degrees of freedom, then guys, it gives us a clarity that in how many ways any gas molecule can keep the energy. In how many ways any gas molecule can keep the energy. So that those ways by which these uh, gas molecules are having that energy is simply known as degree of freedom. Is simply known as degree of freedom. And we do represent it by that uh, symbol F. Okay, sir. Now, as we have discussed earlier, that this degrees of freedom is going to be different for different type of gases. Yes, absolutely. So for monoatomic, for diatomic and for triatomic, we know it very well about these gases. That monoatomic means we are talking about a gas having only one atom. Diatomic means we are having two atoms in that certain gas. And triatomic means three atoms. So yes, they are defined by their name itself. Hosanna, better be attentive. I am explaining it here. So yes, uh, in monoatomic, diatomic and triatomic, as they are defined by their name itself, that uh, they are having a one atom, two atom and three atom. Now, in how many ways this energy can be? In how many ways this energy can be? So let me give you the clarity about this degree of freedom in a bit detail here. So first thing, that's in how many ways this energy can be kept. So guys, this degree of freedom can be in three ways. First one is translational. Translational degree of freedom. Yes, sir. The second one is Rotational degree of freedom. And third one is vibrational degree of freedom. Vibrational. Okay. But I'm talking about overall with this. Talking overall. Have, have attention over here. So yes, whenever we talk about this degree of freedom, then guys, this degree of freedom can be in three ways, translational, rotational and vibrational. It means any, any gas can have these three different ways to keep that energy. Okay, now let me explain them in detail. So guys, here I have discussed, uh, I have taken this vibrational degree of freedom as well. So this vibrational degree of freedom, it occurs only at high temperatures it occurs only at high temperatures okay now until and unless it is not specified in our question we talk about only two degrees of freedoms here and they are translational and rotational guys at your neat level generally this vibrational degree of freedom is not asked in your questions I repeat, generally at your neat level, this vibrational degree of freedom is not asked in your questions. So whenever you talk about degrees of freedom for any gas, then you talk about translational and rotational only until and unless it is not specified. Okay, sir. Now, sir, how these degrees of freedom are and how, you know, like uh, we have to keep it in mind, like uh, we have studied earlier that a degree of freedom for monoatomic gas is going to be three. Okay, so what does it mean? What does it mean? Good evening, Jovita. Good evening. So let me talk about them one by one. First, guys, please pay attention. I'm talking about monoatomic gas. As it is defined by its name itself, then in monoatomic gas, we are talking about one atom. Here it is, Jovita. Okay, so in monoatomic gas, what we say, sir, we have a gas of one atom and in how many ways this atom can move or in how many ways it can have the energy. So let us say that I have taken our reference over here, X, Y, Z, that is your Cartesian system. And I have considered this, uh, you know, like monoatomic gas or this atom at 
it reference point that is origin by default okay now if we have that uh, you know like a uh, atom and now we are talking about motion or now we are talking about the energies or the waves of energies it can keep so guys don't you think that it can either move in x direction along y direction or along z direction can it travel in all the three directions what do you say so if it is able to travel in all the three directions it means it can keep that translational kinetic energy in three ways so yes in monoatomic gas three translational okay now question is sir can it rotate can it produce energy by that rotation no so guys we consider dimensions of these atoms as very small it means they are considered as almost pointed but yes here in this diagram we i have taken them a bit large so that you can clearly identify that yes we are talking about this certain atom it means by the rotation this single atom cannot produce any rotational energy here it means this monoatomic gas molecule is having energy only and only due to translatory motion and in how many ways it can produce that energy in three ways hence its degree of freedom is going to be 3 its degree of freedom is going to be 3 so always be very clear that in case of monoatomic gas degree of freedom is going to be 3 only and the, the all the three ways can be in translational manner in translational manner hmm. now if we talk about this diatomic gas diatomic means we are talking about a gas having two atoms okay and now obviously uh, if there are two atoms then there is some you know like bonding in between them some bondage uh, in between them yes so that length of bond is also there maybe it is small but still it is some uh, you know like value it is some separation between them so now if i consider have a look on my uh, these two hands now let us say that uh, this is the separation and this is how these two uh, you know like atoms are here now i am considering them that i have aligned them along the x axis as i have shown in the diagram and again in how many ways it can keep the energy so sir it can move in x direction yes so one translational manner sir it can move in y direction yes sir it can move in z direction as well isn't it it can move in z direction as well so yes three translational ways absolutely sir three translational ways again now can we have that rotational kinetic energy as well we know it very well that this rotational kinetic energy is half i omega square yes sir here i is moment of inertia and moment of inertia we know it very well that it is m r square so don't you think that r is that perpendicular distance from axis of rotation yes so if i talk about these two atoms that they are placed along the x axis so my question is that what is what is moment of inertia about this x axis if these two atoms are placed along this anyone guys as i said that we consider these atoms to be very small so don't you think that once these atoms are placed along the x axis then perpendicular distance is going to be zero yes pujyam it means there is no rotational kinetic energy if it is placed along the x axis but yes if we talk about rotation about y axis and z axis then obviously there will be a certain perpendicular distance it means it can possess rotational kinetic energy in two ways it can possess rotational kinetic energy in two ways hence in how many ways total it can possess energy five means degree of freedom for this diatomic gas is going to be five degree of freedom for this diatomic gas is going to be five now let me generalize the scenario guys i i said that uh, if these two atoms or if this diatomic gas uh, molecule is placed along the x axis then moment of inertia about that axis is equal to zero it means the rotational kinetic energy about this x axis is zero in the similar way if someone say that sir uh, why we have oriented it along x axis why not along y axis okay you can consider it along y axis as well so if you consider it along y axis then obviously rotational kinetic energy about y axis becomes zero so out of these three if these two molecules are aligned along any of the axis then rotational kinetic energy about that axis will become zero because perpendicular distance will be zero yes so this is how we talk about this diatomic gas i hope these two are clear to everyone i'm giving you 10 seconds to consume it everyone monoatomic and diatomic are they easy
Hmm, great. Now let me talk about that triatomic gas. Triatomic gas, guys, it can further be a linear and non-linear. It can further be linear and non-linear. Then if it is zero, why we are? Or better, that is only one zero now. Uh, is your internet now working? Are you paying proper attention here? Then you should be aware of it, beta. I said that uh, it is zero only about x axis, not about y and z. Because about y and z, it is having that certain perpendicular distance. Hence, it will possess that rotational kinetic energy about y and z. So, two rotational waves and three translational waves. That's why the total degree of freedom is going to be 5. Got it now? It's zero only about, uh, about the axis along which it is placed. Similarly, linear and non-linear. So guys, linear means, again, like diatomic. So like uh, you have any example of uh, linear triatomic gas? Can we say CO2? Yeah, it's like this. Yes, sir. So now, it's very much similar to what we have just learned in case of diatomic gas. It means that all the three molecules can move along the x-axis, can move along the y-axis, and can move along the z-axis. It means three rotation, uh, three translational. Okay. Again, what is the rotational kinetic energy about x-axis? Zero. About x-axis, zero. Yes, sir. Because again, perpendicular distance is going to be zero. It means it can purchase that rotational kinetic energy in two ways. Okay. Again, degree of freedom is going to be five, sir. Again, degree of freedom is five. But in case of non-linear, sir, in case of non-linear, <coughs> Like if I talk about that uh, as two, isn't it non-linear? Yes, sir, it's non-linear. So in case of non-linear, obviously it can move along X, Y or Z for sure. So three translational. And now guys, don't you think that uh, this configuration is possessing that rotational kinetic energy about each and every axis, x axis, y axis, z axis, because uh, about every axis will be having that certain value of rotation, uh, certain value of that perpendicular distance. It means maybe that this, uh, that uh, rotational kinetic energy is small, but again, it is considerable. So it can possess that rotational kinetic energy in three ways. It means what is the degree of freedom here? So it is three plus three, six means this non-linear triatomic gas can purchase the total energy in six different ways in six different ways so this is all about the general scenario that is generally used generally asked in your read exam now let me give you the clarity about that vibrational as well again as i said that generally questions are not Ask, but if you see any question in your module or in your uh, you know like that momentum booster then you should uh, you know be uh, like very much attentive that what actually you are given and what actually you are asked so let me give you its conceptual clarity over here vibrational degree of freedom okay sir so first of all let me say that if any polyatomic molecules having n atoms is given so in that case how many uh, you know like uh, uh, in how many ways it can keep the energy so sir degree of freedom in this particular case is going to be 3n so this 3n is total degree of freedom means this is the way this these are the total number of ways in which this energy can be kept okay so 3n is total degree of freedom okay now if we have that linear configuration if we have that linear configuration then for linear configuration guys this vibrational degree of freedom vibrational degree of freedom is equal to total degree of freedom that is 3n minus translational plus rotational translational plus rotational just now we have studied that in case of linear configuration in how many ways translational and rotational you know like energy is there 
थ्री प्लस टू फाइव यस एब्सोल्यूटली सो थ्री एन माइनस फाइव दिस थ्री एन माइनस फाइव इज गिविंग अस वाइब्रेशनल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम फॉर लीनियर कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस इन द सिमिलर वे फॉर नॉन लीनियर कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस फॉर नॉन लीनियर कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस व्हाट इज वाइब्रेशनल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सर अगेन टोटल माइनस translational and rotational so yes uh, in case of non linear configuration yes with this just now we have seen that uh, they are 6 it means it is 3 and minus 6 it is 3 and minus 6 yes sir so this is the standard way that we have to keep in mind about the vibrational degree of freedom i have given you the clarity vibrational degree of freedom will uh, be there only and only in case of higher temperatures only and only in case of higher temperatures if it is not given in question then we need not uh, we need not to consider it 